Hey, Internet. Shaggy B here for the Highway 47 Radio Hour for the week of November the 29th, 2020. This is our one-hour 90s, early 2000s radio-style music show featuring themed music from the public domain, otherwise licensed for free use and distribution. You know the drill. You've heard like eight of these already, seven of them. This is episode eight, isn't it? Yeah, it's episode eight, so you have not heard eight, so I'd better tell you everything just in case you forget it. Anyway, this week's theme is bluegrass music, and um, there's no reason for that other than I just wanted to do bluegrass this week, so... Here you are. And this week I'm trying something new as far as where I sourced a lot of this music. Um, I pulled a lot of the music this week from archive.org. They have a big live performance uh, repository. Recordings that are just live performances that are recorded professionally or, you know, in high fidelity in some way and just released on archive.org. Um, I presume those to be available for reuse based on the fact that they are posted on archive.org, which is you know, a, a free information sort of, um, you know, that's, that's part of their ethos, but also, um, you know, there, there wasn't any specific licensing saying don't use this or, or a copyright notice or anything like that for all of these works. So these are assumed to be, um, available for reuse. I've not modified them in any way, just like all the music. The only thing that I may have possibly done, and that'll depend on the final mix, which I haven't done yet as of recording this, um, Will be. I might have amplified a track or two to um, to compensate if something was kind of low in the levels or something like that. But I I haven't done any crossfading. I haven't done anything else. So all of the tracks you're hearing are um, exactly as they are hosted on archive.org. But there is some stuff sourced from other sources that are licensed um, directly via Creative Commons. The same as usual, uh, Creative Commons attribution share alike or um, non-commercial or any combination of those. So I do believe that I have the rights to use all this music. With that out of the way, let's talk about what bluegrass is. Now, many people kind of have some misconceptions about bluegrass. A lot of people think of bluegrass as just a catch-all term for any sort of folk music that came from the Eastern Mountains, from Appalachia, right? Um, And that's not really true. Bluegrass is a pretty recent genre of music. It is less than a hundred years old. Uh, It came around in the 1940s, more or less, um, and really it came from one musician and one band, and that that group was Bill Monroe, and the Bluegrass Boys was the name of Bill Monroe's band. Um, So bluegrass, as, as we know it, really has its origins in that one little place, that one person, that one band doing their thing that was unique and different and, and, and unusual. It is not necessarily traditional folk music, though of course there are a lot of folk elements to it. So what is bluegrass? Well, Bill Monroe, the man who invented it, and would know, he said that bluegrass is, and I quote, Scottish bagpipes and old-time fiddling, it's Methodist and holiness and Baptist, it's blues and jazz, and it has a high lonesome sound. So there you are. Um, To me, that says it has a lot of gospel influences, a lot of hymns, you know, the sort of music that a family in the mountains might hear most often, which would be church music. Um, It has that fiddle-type sound. It has, you know, and and the influences of the day, blues and jazz. That was what you would hear in, you know, know, popular music of the time as well. So it has all of those things. Personally, I don't tend to think of a genre of music as defined by its subject matter, like what the lyrics are singing about. I think I think that's a dangerous way to classify things, and any musician will tell you, um, you know, it's, it's just as easy to play Happy Birthday as a really minor, depressing, sad, ominous song as it is to sing it in a happy, fun way, right? So... To me, as a musician, that's that's a that's a dangerous thing to do. So I am going to leave that out of the equation. And my sort of threshold for what counts as bluegrass um, for this collection is that um, it has to be primarily acoustic strings, plucked strings mostly, um, and you know a, a, a traditional quote unquote bluegrass band, bluegrass, bluegrass, bluegrass band would be double bass, guitar banjo, mandolin, and then a bowed fiddle or violin, right? Um, singing, most bluegrass music is going to have vocals on it, not all, um, but for me it's it's that it's that string sound that is 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 bluegrass and that in in more more specifically that 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 fast plucked string sound. Um, why fast plucked? Because frankly, if you're playing mandolin or banjo, um, your notes don't ring for very long and so to keep the sound going, you have to pluck real fast, yeah. So, um 
So that's my threshold for what bluegrass is, and that is what you're going to hear in the radio hour today. So uh, that's five minutes of talking. That's too much. So let's get this started. Enjoy bluegrass music this week on the Highway 47 Radio Hour. Two, three, four. <laughs>
when he comes to the end of the road. Well, then he worked for the pocket of a businessman, and he worked for the wealth of a nation's land. Well, all the work in the world, I couldn't save him from wage slavery. Uh, this is an old Irish drinking toast that I stole off a Guinness poster and I turned it into a song for you folks. This is to heaven for the devil. Here we go. Well, I won't get to heaven for the devil knows I'm dead. Well, I hope I get to heaven for the devil knows I'm dead. Well, 
I don't want to sink down low and just want to get high instead Yes, hope I make it out before that warden knows I'm free Well, I hope I make it out before that warden knows I'm free I don't Cherry, please come carry me Drew, come on, carry us, buddy Yes, hope to make that county line for the sheriff tracks me down. Well, I hope I make that Worcester line for the sheriff tracks me down. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this all behind and start my very own one horse town. on that mandolin. This is Sam Pankratz on my guitar. Carl Minicky on that bass.
so much for hanging out with us tonight. My name is Blake Clannett and this is Simpler Times. So, such a pleasure to be here for you. Magic Gravy's coming right up next. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to the highway point of the Highway 47 Radio Hour for the week of November 28th. 2020. So far on the Bluegrass episode this week, you have heard the Southpaw Bluegrass Band with Drink on the House, Sam Hill with Tennessee Mine. So now you have an answer to the question, by the way. If somebody says, what in the Sam Hill, you can say the Tennessee Mine. You have the answer. Shake That Little Foot with Waterbound. Cletus Got Shot with What Would You Say? I am enjoying that band. Cletus Got Shot, by the way. Um, just digging their stuff. They got a great sound. And, you know, timely lyrics. Mid-Air Machine with Appalachian Coal Mines. And Simpler Times Bluegrass with Heaven Before the Devil. Up next is more bluegrass, but first, since it's the midway point, we got to plug the YouTube channel. So go to YouTube.com, search the keyword Highway 47 with a space, the full word Highway, W, no, W-H-I-G-H-W-A-Y, space 47. I should not try to spell things. Uh, search that, look for the channel with the big Highway 47 shield, that is us, and click on that, you can see that we have over 130 different videos, most of which are commentaries to our, well, I would say favorite, but to uh, TV and movies that we have chosen to do commentaries to. They're a lot of fun to make, um, and they're fun to listen to as well, so uh, go check those out. We have all sorts of stuff on there. We have Star Trek The Next Generation, all of Season 1, part of Season 2. We're working on the rest of Season 2. We have The Orville, Seasons 1 and 2. We have all of Star Trek Picard. We have finally finished Star Trek Lower Decks, and thank God that's over, but it's up there. If for some reason you want to watch it, I wouldn't understand why. Uh, we have several different one-off movies, TV shows. We have the first couple episodes of Firefly. We're working on getting more of those done. We, of course, are still working on our four-drink minimum Godzilla monster movie project. Uh, we just recorded... Oh, what did we just record? I don't even remember what it was. But we're in the 80s and early 90s period of Godzilla right now on recordings. And up for release this coming Friday, December the 4th, is Godzilla 1984 which is the reboot of the Japanese film that spawned the American film Godzilla. Um, and it's good stuff. Check it out. So that's the YouTube plug, and let's get back to the music. More bluegrass on the Highway 47 Radio Hour. Let's get Mike Iser to tell us about one of his favorite girlfriends. What you gonna do, Mike? Well, this is a song we get a lot of requests for. It's a song that addresses the age-old subject of Love and food mm. called cornbread salad. Yes, He's always out a-looking For some gal that looks real sweet And really knows her cooking Every morning she will fix a plate Of sliced tomatoes Biscuits, eggs, and country ham And a heap of fried potatoes The other night I met a gal She set my heart a twitter When she told me she knew how To make a great corn fritter I told her I can't eat no more because I'm getting fatter. Minutes later, I forgot with bacon on the platter. Cornbread Sally, Cornbread Sally, you're so darn good looking. Is it love at first sight or is it just your cooking? When I'm standing by the stove, it sets my nose a twitching. I wish the wedding ceremony would happen in the kitchen. Cornbread Sally, Cornbread Sally, you make my heart flutter When I smell that cornbread all covered up in butter Cornbread Sally, when that skillet full of cornbread's done You're Martha White and Betty Crocker all rolled into one girl Sally, you know you're 
you're the best I've ever seen When it comes to black eyed peas, ham hocks and turnip greens You're as sweet as you can be, so gentle and so kind Breakfast, lunch and dinner, you're always on my mind Well, the other night I dreamed of Sally, oh, my heart was a tickin' In the dream she brought to me a plate of her fried chicken I buy a ring, we'll settle down, now here's one final thought A girl for you, a boy for me, we'll call him Tater Tot Cornbread Sally, Cornbread Sally, you're so darn good looking Is it love at first sight or is it just your cooking? When I'm standing by the stove, it sets my nose a twitching. I wish the wedding ceremony would take place in the kitchen. Cornbread Sally, Cornbread Sally, you make my heart flutter. When I smell that cornbread all covered up in butter. Cornbread Sally, when that skillet full of cornbread's done. You're Martha White and Betty Crocker all rolled into one. Yeah. Yes, or Cornbread Sally. It takes worried man to 
sing worry song. It takes worry man to sing worry song. It takes worry man to sing worry song. I'm worried now. It won't be worry long. Seven wishes you the best of times, the best of days. We hope you have a lovely year. We hope the future brings you more of the things you loved from the past. Best wishes for a new year from the Highway 47 Radio Hour. We love you.
to look back See what I let go Cause I don't wanna know gonna stay that way Now I'm lost And I am rudderless No sense of direction I'm the prince of sadness, dear I'm the lord of self-dissection Vomiting a grain, clenching at a kind of squeeze Till I'm free, free, free and empty Of all these fears that draw you away from me So please don't be nice to me Don't be shy me to look back and see what I let go Cause I don't wanna know
sun goes down Get my party and I begin to cry I don't care what the people are thinking I'm not drunk, I'm just a jank I say I'm up, another round I say I'm up, another round I say I'm up, another round One more round won't get me down And I said, honey, honey, I don't care what the people are thinking. I'm not drunk, I'm just drinking. I said, I'm up, another round. I said, I'm up, another round. I said, I'm up, another round. One more. You have reached the end of the Highway 47 Radio Hour for the week of November 28th, 2020. The Bluegrass episode, first of maybe a few. I don't know. We'll see how this one goes. But uh, it's over now. And what you have heard in the second half were the following. The Sawtooth Mountain Boys with Cornbread Sally. Jacob Henry and Bill Joliffe with I Have Found a Way, the new Bluegrass Disciples with Worried Man Blues, the M. Shanghai String Band with Angel Full of Bourbon, Snake Oil Salesman with Sierra Nevada Torpedo, QQQ or Triple Q or 3Q, I don't know, it's the capital letter Q three times, and their track called Spring, and the Joy Drops with Not Drunk, whether or not they'd rather be drunk, and with you is a question to be answered during our commentary episodes. Check those out at youtube.com, keyword highway47. The background music for the spoken parts of this was provided partially by me, Shaggy B. If you can't tell by the expert level technique violin playing you heard on the little promo that I did. Um, also from the Spin Wires, from their album, which is titled in its entirety, The Spin Wires Instrumental Tracks for Fusing Games, Videos, and Other Media, kind of like Creative Commons License. Getting better. Uh, and I don't remember which tracks I used, but download the whole album. It's all pretty good stuff. As far as the music from the episode, the feature music, the stuff that you're here to listen to, I sourced it from a couple different places. A lot of it was from archive.org, their repository of live recordings of music, which I assume to be usable for reuse. I did not see any restrictions on that. I did not see any registered copyright information. Um, and archive.org is a 
a basically huge repository of the free distribution of media and information. So um, based on its location on archive.org, then I presume that the people who put it there intended it for it to be distributed, and therefore I have done so um, in this manner. If you are a rights holder and I am in error, please contact me by email rather than send the YouTube bots after our channel. We like what we do. We you know, it's we don't intend to infringe anything. We just need to know whether or not we've done something wrong. Um, the rest of the music that was not found on archive.org um, is licensed by Creative Commons. Share like, non-commercial, attribution, some combination of those. We avoid the ones that look like they don't want us to distribute music, and that's that. So we believe in good faith, and by we, we mean I, because I'm the only person who worked on this episode, believe in good faith that... I have the rights to do what I've done, and I am not, you know, I am as informed as I can possibly be on that, and I am trying my best not to infringe on anybody's preferences for the distribution of their copyrighted works. This episode itself is copyrighted by me and by Highway 47, which is not a legal entity. We're just a group of guys, and that's the name we put on the stuff we do. However, I would certainly be happy to allow any of the other members of Highway 47 to discuss any sort of rights management to uh, the things that I create. However, in general, this recording is perfectly fine for you to distribute, to send to your friends, to download an MP3 format, to put on various players, to play at parties, to play at work in the background. However, please don't chop it up into bits. Please don't take the music and remix it and turn it inside out and backwards and slow it down and speed it up and change it to some other key or things like that, because that is not respectful to the artists who created it. And that is the goal here, is to distribute and share things that are distributable and shareable and enjoyable and that's what i have hoped to have done here stay tuned for more radio hours every sunday stay tuned for four drake minimum on fridays i don't know what next week's going to be we'll just have to see how it goes i have some ideas we'll see which one comes together first until then good night everybody